Hang on, Trish. You need to let me do an abstract painting of you live, right here on Explore Tulsa. Stevie, if I were going to commission an artist to do any work at all, it would be someone like Anna Rutherford. What does she have that I don't have? Well, first of all, she has interned with great artists and is now getting her work noticed by many experts from all over. My dad still has some of my art on his fridge. Lots of people notice. Oh, I'm sure it's wonderful work, Stevie. But let's see what Anna has to say about her art. When I discovered that I was an artist was in fourth grade. I was doing this uh, mosaic project and my teacher put my, it was a fox and it was turquoise and bright orange and she put it into a contest and I won first place. She went up to my parents and said, she's got it, she's an artist. <laughs> so ever since then, um, I've always taken classes and been really involved in all sorts of art. My father's side has painters and they just kind of did it as a hobby and my mother's always been a photographer but no one's ever been a fine artist and a painter like I have. Um, in my senior year of high school I started taking APR classes and kind of um, discovering scholarships and different opportunities. Fine arts is when you use your hands and you create, you know, the brush strokes or you use tools to carve into things. Um, I definitely love using oil painting. Oil paints can really, you know, create that skin tone and that sheen and they're just, you create rich, you know, beautiful colors that you can't create with other materials. I also do bronze casting. Bronze casting, it is casting sculptures that you've created out of clay into bronze pieces. My style actually spawns from, um, I have RA, rheumatoid arthritis. When it's cold out, it's really hard for me to hold on to brushes. And so I kind of create my own tools. I'll wrap rags around thin brushes so that I can grip them better. And I, I do a good job of catering. Um, there are certain days that I just can't paint. And then the next day I'm on fire and it always gives me a drive and it always gives me subject matter to paint. And so I look at it as a positive thing. And it's really interesting. I've had a lot of people come up to me and tell me their stories about the different things that they struggle with, whether it's a family member with diabetes or they had cancer or even just small, you know, mental illnesses. So it's really fascinating how it's reached out to people. I do do private commissions, and so I am driven sometimes, you know, uh, by what their vision is of something, like if I'm doing someone's dog to illustrate or their wedding, but as far as my own work, my drive is something that it's just, I wake up and I think about art. My art that I create is my, it's a lifestyle, and everything I do when I drive down the street and I see, you know, a certain leaf or a shape, I'm like, wow, that'd be a beautiful painting, you know, in the background. It's just a continual, instinctual thing that's certainly like an inner drive that I've always had. I can't imagine not feeling that way. I definitely want everyone to be able to look at my work and say, oh, that's Anna's, you know, handwork, that's her brush stroke. But I don't want to cage myself to being open-minded to new ideas and forms of art and different ways to express myself. But I don't want to lose myself at the same time. I just started um, in the past six months doing live painting. And it's been um, a really great experience for me and for everyone else. Even simple things like mixing my paints in front of people, they had no idea that you didn't just buy it out of the tube. And it wasn't so much of the piece that I produced as much as the act of painting and getting to see what most people don't get to see. They see a finished product, but they don't see how it happens. A lot of people th uh, feel that you would have a lot of anxiety, but um, I get really excited about it actually. But um, I think that pressure really gives me some drive to really focus and get some work done. I've been able to really paint pretty quickly and kind of push myself and, you know, see how fast I could work. And I think my speed has definitely developed. What I love most about getting to do artwork is 
I mean, I'm happy every time I step into my studio. I always want to be in my studio. Sometimes I have to pry myself out, like fall asleep standing up because I love what I do so much. And I really, I hope that everyone can do something that they, you know, want to push themselves and put their all into. And so I'm really lucky I get to do that. That's, that's huge for me.